Hey guys, here's another body weight workout for you. You know, something you can fit into to your schedule really easily. 20 minute workout, uh, minimal equipment. Um, all I'm gonna use today, a um, couple of dumbbells and my clock. I've got my clock chiming in the back there. It's counting on, set on uh, 30 second intervals. It's chiming every 30 seconds. So what's helpful about the clock for me is that uh, I can talk and not have to worry about counting repetitions. However, if you don't have a clock or any way to keep track of time, then you could count repetitions, but uh, I would say repetitions are going to be 30 to 50 repetitions. Um, I do like to use the clock when I'm working with my customers because in that way I don't have to worry about counting. But I mix it up. Sometimes I do count reps too. Okay. Check it out. I'm going to start off <clears throat> with some side steps. You can go low impact if you just want to go low impact like that. We can walk it out, get that heart pumping nice and easy. Start the body up, you know, first thing in the morning. Or we can do the quicker pace side steps where I'm shuffling across a little bit more agility. Let's keep it going for 60 seconds. So I'm going to keep my side steps going here for another 35 seconds here. Get my heart pumping a little bit. Warm me up. 30 seconds more. I'll show you that low impact version again. If you just haven't got the room, you could also just do it that way. If you haven't got the space to do for the longer side steps or the agility like I am. Last three, two, one. Good. Started the ball rolling, getting my body temperature up. I'm just going to move to a little bit of balance and stability here. I'm going to try to stay on one leg the whole time. Over and up. Over and up. Of course, if you have to put that foot down, no problem. Best time to put it down, when the hands come up over the head, put your foot down if you have to. Switching to the other side, I'm doing 30 seconds on each side, but you could do five or 10 reps on one side, five or 10 reps on the other. All wonderful. my 30 second chime. My next one, gonna move to an alternating reverse lunge, just stepping back, sinking my back knee down. Stepping back, sinking my back knee down. See that? I'm on the ball of my foot when I step back, and I sink my back knee down as low as I can. If you can lightly kiss the floor with that knee, great. If you can't get so deep, especially if you're just getting started, then don't worry about getting so deep into it. You can do a little one, a shallow one, a little bit of flexibility there, range of motion. That's warming you up, it's building some strength. As you get stronger, you can sink deeper down into your lunges, working through a more full range of motion. Everybody does what's right for them. I'm working with the clock here. That's 60 seconds alternate reverse lunges, or 20, 30, 40, or 50 repetitions. What's right for you? Next one, I'm gonna drop into some elbow planks, some plank variations. I'm just gonna drop myself down into my elbow plank. So I'm holding myself in plank, nice and flat to the floor. Nice full breaths. So you can hold that plank for 30 seconds or for 60 seconds, whatever is right for you. The beauty of a plank is you can always touch your knees down if you're starting to run out of gas. I'll just give you a little profile here. 
of what I'm doing, holding myself flat in the plank. I'm going to hold this plank for another five more seconds. Take a break if you have to. If you can, let's keep it going. I'm just gonna raise one heel up, then the other heel up, keeping myself nice and flat to the floor. Lift one heel, then the other heel. Again, if you need to take a break, don't worry about it. Touch your knees, take a break. If you wanna pause the tape, pause the tape. Do what's right for you. There's 30 seconds, alternate leg releases in the plank position. Now we're gonna go for an arm release. Arm release, usually a little bit more challenging. If you find that's too much for you, don't worry about it, stay with the leg release or just stay with the plank. Maybe you just need to develop a little bit more strength before you can do that arm release or the leg release. You might just keep on working on your planks until you get enough core strength to start releasing body parts. Don't worry, wherever you're at, we can build you back up again, inch by inch. All right, next one. We're gonna go for a stationary lunge. That's gonna have my arms behind my head. Just working on one side. I'm going to go 30 seconds on one side, dropping through my full range of motion on my lunges. My front foot really flat on the floor, so I'm pushing down through my front heel. your profile on the other side there. 30 seconds stationary lunges on one side, 30 seconds stationary lunges on the other side, or 10 or 15 or 20 repetitions on one side and the same on the other. Take a break anytime you have to. Right. Are you starting to feel that? Is your body starting to warm up? Mine is. Okay. Dropping myself down. Hopefully you got a good view. I'm just going to uh, point my toes and I'm going for a leg raise. You can put your hands under your butt if you like. That'll help your spine. Support your spine a little bit. Down a little bit more. Maybe you get a better visual of what I'm doing, pointing my toes, keeping my legs straight, lifting those legs right up to 90 degrees. I'm going for 60 seconds, but you can also do this for 10 or 15 or 20 or 30 repetitions if you're more advanced. Of course, you can take a break whenever you need to. And I encourage you to break. I'm not trying to kill you here. I want to warm you up and incrementally build you back up. This is a program where we're rebuilding you completely, physically, nutritionally, spiritually, mentally. This is a personal development program, a physical development program. This is a total life change. Are you looking for change? That's what this is about. Six weeks to success. Okay, our next one, we're gonna work on our jackknife. Turn myself again. Maybe you can get a better look sideways this time. Working on my jackknife, hands behind my head. I'm gonna open up and squeeze. Open up, we're gonna do this for 60 seconds. Break whenever you have to. Okay, if you've got back problems, maybe you gotta keep the legs up here. If it's too much, just work on the crunch. That's great too. 
or you could just work on the crunch like that if it's too much to do the jackknife. More advanced to do the jackknife. Oh, I'm feeling it. Pull those knees in towards your elbows. Squeeze your core. Superman, or the superwoman, or the super people that you guys all are, whichever version works best for you is going to work wonderful for me, okay? But we're just picking ourselves up as high as we can. Pick your chin up, pick your hands up, pick your heels up, take everything up and back, strengthening all along the back of the body, all along the muscles of the spine. All right, my heart's starting to pump. Feel free to take a break whenever you need to, if you want to take a pause. Okay, my next one, I'm going to be down on my back. I'm going to raise one leg into the air, 30 seconds, I'm just working on one side, pushing down into the floor, raising my hips off the ground. As many times as I can in 30 seconds, if you're doing repetitions, you can do 15 or 20 or even 30 repetitions if you're more advanced. Switching to the other side, lifting those hips up as high as you can, pressing down the foot that's on the floor, pressing the heel down into the floor, raising the hips up as high as you can. Simple exercises you can do anywhere, no excuses. Both feet on the ground, same thing. Raise the hips up high as you can. Working on the glutes, working on the hamstrings, working on the lower back. You got lower back problems? You got tightness in your hips and your lower back? Well, why don't you do something about it? It's not gonna change unless you make a change and do something different. Working on my dog, off to one side. Working on my hips, my glutes. As many repetitions as I can in 30 seconds, off to the side. Hip abduction. Same thing on the other side. Tough one. 
Take a break if you need to, whenever you need to. Maybe 15 or 20 repetitions will probably work fine. Good for a burn. Ah, I always tell my customers, ah, as long as there's no smoke, we keep going. Same thing on the other side, another 15 or 20 repetitions. Tone up those hips. How are you feeling? Are you feeling well? Warming up our bodies, getting ourselves ready for the day. Let's pick it up a little bit more. We allowed the heart rate to come down a little bit. Here's your jumping jacks to get it going again. If you can't handle that high impact, you can go low impact jacks. If you want to make it a little bit more fun, you can do the jumping jack toe touch. Let's see. Come on, jump it out if you can. Let's see, 15 jumping jack toe touches. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Good job. All right. We got the good old burpee. I like to teach the burpee with a few variations. In case you can't jump out your burpees, that's okay. We can walk them out. That's awesome. There's my low impact version of the burpee. My call out my walkout burpee. That's awesome. If you want to jump out your burpees, I call this kind of like an in-between version. You can do the jumping at the, the back end here, but don't have to jump over the head. Or if you want to go for the full Monty, 10 more seconds of burpees. Whichever version is right for you. There you go. Let that heart rate come down a little bit there. Give it a 30 second break. And I'm gonna go back to my burpees, whichever version, walking burpees, in between burpees, or jumping full out burpees. We're gonna add the push up to the burpee this time. So each time we step those feet back, we'll add a push up. If you're gonna to drop to your knees for your burpee push up, that's okay. You can drop to your knees here, do a push up and then come on back up. If you can do it on your toes, awesome. If you gotta do it on your knees, awesome. If you wanna do it low impact like this, awesome. If you wanna add the high impact and jump them out, let's try 30 seconds jumping them out. Huh. Do what's right for you. Don't kill yourself just getting back into it. Ten seconds more. There we go. All right. So, all of those exercises done with body weight and in a very short period of time, 15 minutes, heart's pumping pretty good, body's revved up, I've certainly changed my physiology for the better, which is what we need to do to give ourselves some energy to create change in our lives. Here I'm just grabbing a couple of lightweight dumbbells, nothing crazy, and I'm going to go for a lunge curl. Down, we could do that 
for 10 repetitions or 15 repetitions or for time for 30 seconds. Whatever's right for you. But you got 10 or 15 on the one side and then you got the other leg forward. Do the same thing. Let's see. 10 or 15 on the other side. I don't use heavy weights very much at all anymore. I tore my pectoral using some heavy weights. <sighs> See that very damaged pec? I did that when I was around 30, 15 years ago. Damaged myself using heavy weights and I had to rethink the way I lived my life, the way I exercised, you can see that's really changed the shape of my body. I learned my lesson the hard way. So here's your tricep kickback. 15 or 20 repetitions, or for time, 30 seconds on one side. on the other side, tricep kickbacks, 25 seconds more, make it 30 seconds on each side. Forward lunging, I'm up on the toe in the back there, so my body's having to balance, my core is working the whole time, balance and stability, we always got to work on balance and stability. All right. Two dumbbells. Go for another set of kickbacks. Both dumbbells at the same time. Let's really give those triceps a good burn. Ten more seconds. Burn them out. Almost there. Another single dumbbell. We'll go for a dumbbell snatch. Let's go 30 seconds on each side or 15 repetitions on each side. Little squat, dropping the dumbbell down low and taking it over my head. Same thing on the other side. My heart's pumping like crazy. I'm gonna finish off the workout now with a lateral crawl push up. It's a sideways crawl and a push up. I'll show you a few variations. If you wanna do your push ups on your toes or on your knees, whatever's right for you. All right, so there's your push up. There's your crawl over. Push up, crawl over, push up. If you gotta go on your 
knees, crawl over, drop to your knees, push up, pop up, crawl over, drop to your knees, push up, crawl over, push up, whatever version is right for you. If you start to run out of gas, maybe you can leave the push up part off and you just do the lateral crawl, crawl over, crawl over, start to run out of gas maybe, right? Or you can just move to the mountain climber, just go knee to elbow, knee to elbow, last 15 seconds, let's finish it off. Whatever version is right for you, do it now. Uh, uh, go to the ding. Uh, 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 there we go. Uh, there is a quick body weight workout for you. 20 minutes. Very little equipment. No excuses. Fit it into your life. I'll see you guys all on the call Monday night at 8.30 p.m. Thanks for watching.